What it up, YouTube? This is Denzel B. Ryan. Sign on with you guys, girls. So today we are up for another episode of the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV show on Disney Plus, season one, episode four, part four. Previous episode of episode three, which I really, really enjoyed of Darth Vader, Obi-Wan confrontation and stuff like that. Um, in this episode, hopefully we could dive in, hopefully somewhere in the show, a little bit more of Obi-Wan and Anakin maybe doing the Clone Wars, which I doubt that might happen and stuff like that. Um, so I previously remember that Reva, the Inquisitor, had kidnapped it, Princess Leia. And I guess she's going to interrogate her or some fashion, I don't know. But maybe in this episode, hopefully we get to see more of Obi-Wan and, um, and a little bit more Vader and stuff like that. Who knows? But I'm really um, curious to see how we want to go forward from the show because we only got two more episodes left. So, so overall, I've been enjoying the show so far. It's pretty good so far. Not the best, not the, not the top, top best, but it's still a good show. And in the most part, but let's see where they're gonna go with us in this further episode. So let's talk into more reactions. And if this is your first time talking in, in here on my channel, I talk about Marvel, Star Wars, gaming, trying to laugh challenges. It's mostly reaction channels, y'all name it. Hit that like button, subscribe, and share. And let's get to the point. Less talking and more reactions. You ready, Obi Wan? Tell me more of your story. Good. Action! Oh, Obi Wan. Seeing Obi Wan the first time in the back to tank. Will he have flashbacks? Your body, they just need time. Oh, we're, we're on your beam. Where's Leia? Oh, with the Inquisitors. That was a really good intro of them connecting to the Force. You feeling each other's pain. My father. Broken. He shouldn't be here. I know you're up. Oh, shoot. That's Ice Cube's son. I'm the first transport out of here. Too many people are looking for you. Who put us all in danger? I need your help. So does every kid making a rock flow from here to court. Someone back. I had a wife once. I knew exactly what she was before we got married. We tried to hide it, and the Inquisitors found her anyway. Oh, his wife was a Jedi. Yeah, it's good to see Ice Cube's son in Star Wars. <laughs> no. Straight out of it's a water moon. The galaxy. I don't know. <laughs> I about to say straight out of Compton, straight out of the galaxy. <laughs> I can get you inside and I can get you access. Is your cover still intact? We'll find out soon enough. We're wasting time. Get my ship fueled and ready. It's always a good to have a betrayed ex-officer of an Imperial flank because, you know, once they on the side of the good guys, they can help you out in those tough situations. I don't know anything about a path. She's a smart little girl. Well, let's think a little bit harder, shall we? This is like Leia's second time being integrated to the Empire, you know? Kind of wish they played the Imperial theme. You know, when your heart is beating at a certain pace, and you're like, oh crap, please, please get me through, please get me through. Is there a problem? I'm here with classified intelligence. Do you know what classified means? Why am I wasting my breath on you? Yes, sir. Of course. Very imperial of you. Still gotta have that imperial gut inside of you. Oh. It's giving me Jedi Fallen Order vibes. You know, at the last level, level with Cal Kestis, he has to infiltrate the Inquisitors. <laughs> Kylo Ren mind probe. You see, the more afraid you are. I learned that at a very young age as well. I had a droid when I was younger too. It was taken from me. Play it cool, lady. Play it cool. Oh shoot. Dollar's a little busy now. I love that every stormtrooper in every station always talk about the T fifteens <laughs> and the speeders and all that stuff. It's a good Star Wars uh cool reference. Good reference. Okay, let's go. A new hope reference. 
And I think with all this interrogation, Leia seeing the light of the Empire that they're not good is going to make her in the future go against the Empire, you know? Yeah. Ooh! Are those Jedi trophies? Dang, a youngling. Now that's... That's terrible. I'm sorry, Leia. I really am. You did this to yourself! You're lucky. Ah! <laughs> what I told you all. <laughs> Yay! More distractions. It's him. They got each other's back for each distractions. Okay. <laughs> so that pose, like that pose. It's giving me rich video game Fallen Order vibes. Oh shoot, that's the um what do you call them things from the Fallen Order? The the suit guys. He's gonna try to hold it and then when they come through they're gonna flood you wanna flood it with it. Smart move, Obi-Wan. Smart move. Smart move. <laughs> it's just funny because it's like a big bulge on the right side of Obi-Wan. Oh shoot, snow speeders. Ah. 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 Oh shoot. Skinny boy way to the sacrifice. Say <laughs> like, this is your doing, lady. You were born what the feet would bring. I will tolerate your weakness no longer. Soon the location of the network and Kenobi will be ours. I have underestimated you. But my lord, the base was almost destroyed. Kenobi is all that matters. There can be no mistakes. You're certain the tracker is with him? Yes, my lord. Where he goes, it will follow. Don't... The, 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 the girl like Rose Tika in a way from Last Jedi. He has firm the, um, trust in Obi Wan. Oh shoot! So that little red thing's their tracker. Okay. Okay. Pretty good episode. Now let's review and talk. Right, so just finished watching episode four of Obi Wan Part Four of um, the series on Disney Plus, and I thought the episode was a filler, but a fun filler. 
Um, if it really gave me the Jedi Fallen Order vibes because they are infiltrating the um, Sith Inquisitor's castle and, 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 you know, breaking out and saving Leia with a rescue mission and stuff like that. I have to say the Empire is really, really, a really, really cruel when it comes to children and stuff like that. Just seeing the frozen youngling inside the little trophy sections that they have frozen people into death and stuff like that and then interrogating Leia. And in and, and a handcuffs, it kind of reminded me of Grogu in the Mandalorian when they were interrogating Grogu, and they had like the little, little, small, t <laughs> tiniest of handcuffs. Empire are not good with children. They should really kick the Empire out. That's why the Empire is going to get their butts whooped and defeated. Um, yeah, but overall, I thought this episode was well, it was like a filler. It was pretty good, pretty fun. Um, I was looking at certain views and stuff like that. Some people said they didn't like the episode, stuff like that. I mean, this episode was fine and stuff like that. I would rate it honestly like a 7 out of 10 stuff like that um it's a fun filler episode um questions though when Darth Vader was a really cool moment had his present moment he's walking in with Fern but he's about to choke um Reva stuff like that so this is and we got two more episodes left so I was wondering that is he going to kill her or is he going to give her a tumor or whatever it is she said no but I I, I give her give me one more chance Lord Vader and I'll, I'll find Obi-Wan my only thing is is that in a previous episode Darth Vader let Obi-Wan get away so I have two things you know the story written right stuff like that either Darth Vader could have in a previous episode kind of could have uh, walked through the fire or maybe that's Vader's uh, fear of fire I know Darth Vader could walk through the fire because he has an impenetrable suit and stuff like that so his suit is built from fire and just get Obi-Wan from there and um, he's just mad at Reaver that they escaped again and stuff like that or maybe theory number two is that he wanted Obi-Wan to be here, but Rave of Plan failed again so he could bump into Obi-Wan at a certain point of room and time and interrogate him from there. Um, and maybe, I don't know, stuff like that, you know. But um, yeah, it was a cool episode, very fun. I liked it. Um, what else was cool in the episode that I could think of and stuff like that? Um, yeah, the good actually it's cool that Obi Wan breaking the um glass and everything. Everything was fine. Everything was fine. It's a good fun episode. Really liked it. Um, I just hope that the next two episodes will build up to the final final potential moments, especially the last episode. That last episode, please let it pay off. Stuff like that. If it doesn't pay off. It is what it is. Like I do with all Star Wars films, TV shows. I'm a hardcore Star Wars fan. I will love everything that's that's with it. Like Star Wars is like that illegitimate child that you have one good child, one great child, one child that's eh, but I still love you all regardless because you, you, you're in the same universe and stuff like that. But overall, I enjoyed it. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, what were some flaws? There were a little couple of flaws and stuff like that, but I, as I, I got to rewatch it again and stuff like that. I just thought it was a fun episode. I Like I said, I really enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, I think I'll talk about more of my review and breaking down on new rock stars in the near future of that episode and stuff like that. Yeah. All right, so that was my reactions and thoughts of the Obi-Wan Kenobi episode 4 um, show. Um, what you guys and girls thought about it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Comment below. Let me know. Were there certain things that I missed? And also, if you enjoyed my reaction, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. More videos are posted each and every other week. So with that being said, this is Denzel B. Red. Sign out. With a bang. <laughs>